Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Marley. You're watching Marley's Inspiration. We have breaking news. All eyes on Israel. All eyes on Israel. As we know, the Prime Minister of Israel has landed in Washington to meet with Pluto tomorrow. Well, it just broke that Israel is accelerating their plans of action. So, Israel, the IDF, the progress of the program has led the IDF to accelerate its operational plans and the recently approved defense budget is earmarked for that. As we know, like I said, the Prime Minister is in the U.S. right now. He is supposed to meet with Pluto tomorrow and they're going to discuss the current situation that is going on. All eyes need to be on Israel. All eyes need to be on the Middle East. I've said ever since I started my channel, keep your eyes on Israel. Israel is our time clock. And that is exactly what we need to do. We need to be paying attention to what is going on in the Middle East. Because we know the signs of the times. We know the prophecies. We know our Bibles front to back, or we should. If you do not know your Bible front to back, I highly suggest you reading your Bible and learning it as much as you can because there will come a time when we will not have our Bibles. And you need to be able to recall the Word as much as you can because when they come and take your Bible, how are you going to understand what is going on if you don't have your Bible? How are you going to keep your mind renewed if you don't have your Bible? You have to know His Word. It has to be written on your heart. You have to know it front to back, back to front. That is why He told us to study it daily because it is alive. It is full of power. And if we ever have an issue or a problem or a need, all we have to do is go to His Word. There is an answer for everything in His Word. There is an answer for everything in prayer. Now is not the time to be lukewarm. Now is the time to be on fire for God. On fire. Make sure that you are hot, not lukewarm. Lukewarm means you are straddling the fence. You're not all the way in. It means you're half in, half out. It means you're riding down the middle. Like on, like on a highway. When you're on the road, if you're riding down the middle, you're going to hit a vehicle that is coming at you. You don't want to be in the middle. You want to be on one side or the other. You cannot serve more than one master. You only get one master. You can't serve both. You can't serve God and be a part of the world because we are not of this world. We are not of this world. Our home is not in this world. If you belong to God, you're not of this world. We are just passing through. Life is but a vapor. Here today, gone tomorrow. Keep your eyes on Israel. Stay paying attention to everything that is going on. But remember, keep your eyes on Jesus. Don't look at the circumstances around you. Don't allow fear to set in. God has us. He will provide for us. We need to know the signs of the times. We need to know what is going on so we know where we are. We need to know where we are. Everyone needs to wake up. Now is not the time to be asleep. This is what God has put in my heart ever since I started my Christian YouTube channel. And that is to reach the lost at all costs. That is to reach the backsliders. And that is to reach the lukewarm. Jesus is coming to take us unto himself. The second coming and the rapture, they're two different events. But he is coming to receive his bride unto himself. He is coming for a bride that has made herself ready. Are you ready? Remember the parable of the foolish virgins 
and the wise virgins. The wise virgins kept their lamps full of oil. The foolish virgins had to go buy oil. And while they were gone, the bridegroom came and took the wise virgins unto himself, and he closed the door. And what did the foolish virgins do? They went and knocked. And he said, Depart, I never knew you. You want to make sure you've got a real relationship with God. Don't just say, I know him, I'm going to heaven. You need to know that you know him. You need to know his voice. You need to know how his presence feels. You need to know his character. You need to know everything about him. Because when you are getting to know someone, you have to spend time with them to be able to get to know them. And it's the same thing with God. How you spend your time is important. You need to set aside time to spend with God. And don't make it like it's a routine. You need to be dedicated, 100% dedicated to God. Now is not the time to just go about a busy life and then include God when you can. You can't do that. Not in this hour. This hour is full of deception. You need to stay in his word and you need to stay in prayer. If you mess up, get back up again. Don't stay down. Don't stay down. Have a heart of repentance daily. A heart of repentance daily. We don't have that much time left. We don't know how much time we have. If God grants us mercy and grace and lets us stay here a little bit longer and he, he pushes back everything, then we need to be ready to be about his business. And what is his business? Souls. That is why we are here. We were made for such a time as this. We need to be serious about saving souls. We need to be serious about serving God. It's not, oh, I'm going to get everything I can from God. No, you've got to do your part too. You need to be telling people about Jesus. He said, if you deny me in front of men, I will deny you in front of my father. Now that is scary. That is very scary. And it's also scary to fall into the hands of the living God in his wrath. So you need to make sure that you know that you know that you know that you have a relationship with him, that you are spending time with him, that he knows your name, and that you are not lukewarm. Because what did he say? Because you are lukewarm, you are neither hot nor cold, I will spit you out of my mouth. That is a scary thing. When you are standing before him, if you do not have a relationship with him, if you do not know him, if he does not know you, he will say, depart from me, I never knew you, thou worker of iniquity. That is a scary thing to hear. My channel is not about sugarcoating. I will never sugar sugarcoat the truth. I told God that I would say exactly what he wanted me to say with boldness and without fear. And that is what you're going to get on my channel. If you are new, know that I will speak whatever it is that God wants me to speak without fear and with boldness because that is what the believers need in this hour. We need to be able to stand. We need to be bold. We need to be bold as lions, harmless as doves. You need to speak what God tells you to speak when he tells you to speak it. You need to make yourself a willing vessel ready to be used by him because the, la the, wor the labor is many but the workers are few. How will they hear if we do not go out and tell them about Jesus? Do you want to stand before God and him say, what did you do um, for the kingdom? What did you do? And you'll be like, you'll still be saved, yes, but you won't be You'll be ashamed because you did not do anything for his kingdom. You didn't do anything. 
Our main priority on this earth is to win souls. Our main priority on this earth is healing. Our main priority on this earth is spending time with God in worship, reading his word, learning his word, front to back, back to front. Our main priority on this earth should be doing the will of God. What is the will of God? Souls. He is not willing that any should perish, but all should come to repentance. I love you all. Remember, keep your eyes on Israel. I'm not going to make this video very long. It's breaking news. I had to get it up as soon as possible. I will have the link in the description. And if you need to reach me, always feel free to email me or reach out to me in the prayer group. I will reply to you as soon as I can. I check my emails daily. My email is in my belt. I love you all. Remember, Jesus loves you. I love you. Look up. Your redemption is drawing near. We don't have that much time, so tell someone today about the love of God.